I'm Alistair Bates. I work as a chief at a company. Could you handle the tasks you gave me earlier? I'm busy. Um, it can't be helped. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. I'm so timid that I can't turn others when they force their own tasks onto me. Again? Oh, he's Miles Bird, the best worker here. I'm his supervisor. As I said before, you're not cut out for being a chief. I can't believe you got promoted. Well, they needed help. One for all, all for one, right? That's what incompetent people would say. I don't need help from others. Um, no one respects me here. Who would? I'm timid and incompetent. I'm a chief here. Should I stay like this? One day, I visited a client with Miles for a negotiation. He's late. He knows we're having a negotiation today, right? I'm so sorry. The manager misunderstood the date. He's out now. We called him. He's on his way back. Don't worry. We'll wait. What are you... Calm down. We get to have a chat with these pretty girls. They are, yeah. But we're here for business. <laughs> 30 minutes after the meeting time. Sorry for the wait. They misunderstood my schedule. Huh? No, manager, we didn't... I'm not to blame. He started telling us how great he is. I guess he's trying to change the subject. I'm so sorry. They caused you trouble. What the hell? I'm sorry for them. Um, I don't think what you're doing is right. What did you say? I never thought he'd stand up to him. If you have a problem with me, then leave. Even though I hurried back. Oh, no, wait. We're done. I'll go back to my office. Oh. We left the company soon. What should we do? You ruined the negotiation. I can't get promoted for a while. Sorry. I caused him trouble too. I shouldn't be chief. Hey! You are. I'm Giselle Blaine. This is Claire. We are twins. Thank you for covering for us. I'm sorry that things went in the wrong direction because of us. D don't worry. Are you two okay? Huh? Maybe I just made the situation worse. You worry about us in a situation like this? You're so kind. We're fine. We can take care of ourselves. Really? That's good. We returned to the office and told my supervisor what happened. I got demoted to take responsibility for ruining the negotiation. Miles started making fun of me more often. Several years later, I'm still a regular employee. Miles, your achievements are the highest this month too. Everyone, learn from him. Oh. Wow, he's great. Ha, <laughs> didn't expect nothing less from me, right? I've been told that I'll be promoted to be a chief. <laughs> And I have another news. We have two new workers. I'm Giselle Blaine. I'm Claire. We're twins. It's nice to see you all. Oh, wh what made you two change jobs? We saw you before. It's been a while, Alistair. We quit that company. Let us repay you for helping me that day. Re repay me? Alistair, you know them? Then you'll be their mentor. Well, wait a second. I'm more competent. I'll train them. There are a lot of projects I want you to handle. So it's Alistair. Oh no. We'll do our best. I promise we come in handy. I started training them from scratch as I was told to. Damn. I envy him. They're so pretty. Both of you are fast learners. I bet you two will get promoted soon. Yay! It's because you're good at teaching. You were a chief before. What happened? Well, um, I wasn't ready for being a chief. I couldn't really lead the team. And I'm lame. That's not true. You were usually cool when you stood up for us. We should do something for him. Yeah. Huh? We'll help you gain confidence. Are you free this weekend? Let's go shopping. We decided to hang out on the weekend. Alistair, sorry for the wait. Oh. What do you think? 
I spent a lot of time figuring out what to wear today. So, you two wear outfits like those. Giselle started checking her clothes out yesterday. Claire, shut up! What? That's true. You two look great. <laughs> Giselle, you heard that? Y yeah So, where are we going today? We should work on your appearance first. You'll be cooler if you pay a bit more attention to your hairstyle and clothes. Really? I've never been popular with girls ever, though. You're cool, see? If I pull your bangs back like this... Oh, too close. I knew it! Your bangs hide it, but you're cute. Everyone will like you more. Oh, they took me to a beauty salon. After having my hair cut, we went to an apparel shop. They gave me a makeover. Wow. Oh. This is me? Ooh. Do I look strange? Say something! No, no! You're so much cooler than I thought you'd be! I was captivated! Anyway, I'm sure they'll give you compliments. You think? They never treated me as their supervisor. I don't think they will acknowledge me so easily. Uh, don't worry. No matter what our supervisor said to us, we couldn't consult anyone. You were suffering. You were the only one who stood up for us, even though he was your client. You gave me the courage to hire a lawyer. It took us time to gather proof. But we were able to demand consolation money. We would have been still working there complaining if it weren't for you. So, we want to repay you. You're so kind that you help anyone in trouble. I guarantee everyone will acknowledge you. Okay, if you two think highly of me like that, I'll give it a try. Next week, having been given a makeover, I went to work. I was anxious about how they would react, but... M morning Morning. Oh, Alistair! What happened to you? Oh, um, I thought I'd have a makeover. Do I look strange? No, not at all. You're cool. They talked to me a lot. I felt like they relied on me more than usual. It helped me gain some confidence. How did he get popular like that? Well, it won't make me unattractive. I'm more competent than him. Miles. Any progress on the materials for the meeting we're having this weekend? Oh. Um, sure. Damn it! I totally forgot about it! Well, I'm competent. I can make it. Miles started acting weird that day. Whenever his supervisor talked to him, he seemed worked up. His eyes were shifty. Is everything alright? Is there something I can help you with? Ugh, I'm fine. I can handle it. Okay. Talk to me if you need anything. Several days later... What do you mean the materials aren't ready? You remember what you said the other day, right? I'm sorry. I forgot to make them. I started preparing them in haste, but I had other tasks to do. I'll quit to take responsibility. W wait wait that's too far. But I'm such an idiot that I made a mistake like this. You don't need me anymore. I can't let him quit. He's arrogant, yeah, but he's taking work seriously. He made one mistake and will lose the heart? That's wrong. But what can I do for him? He's way more competent than me. Alistair, just give him a hand if you want to. Even Miles couldn't make it. I don't think I can. You can. At least, you should give it a try. He shouldn't leave the company just like this. I always wanted everyone to acknowledge me. The girls changed jobs to support me. I can't let them down. If I want to change myself, it's now or never. I'll handle it, so don't quit. What are you talking about? We need the materials tomorrow. I don't think you can do it. I'll give it a try anyway. It won't hurt me. I took over the task to make the materials. The twins handled my own task so that I was able to focus on it. However, I'm running out of time. As I thought, maybe I can't. Senpai, let us help you out. You always give us a hand. 
Ah. Yeah, you should rely on us once in a while. Guys, thanks. Why are you all helping him out all of a sudden? You guys mistreated him. I was really harsh to him too. This company needs you. Anyone makes a mistake, we're a team. When you're in trouble, you can rely on us. You're not alone on this. Senpai, I was such a jerk that I thought I was competent. I'm really sorry for causing everyone trouble. I'll make sure to rely on everyone from now on. I'll do my best to make it. Yeah, I believe we can do it if we're together on this. Yeah. Our co-workers started helping us one after another as soon as they finished their own tasks. I'll handle it. Let me take a look at it. Thanks to everyone, we were able to make it in time. Miles went around apologizing to everyone. I heard that they gave him a little lecture, but forgave him in the end because of his past achievements. I built trust with all of my co-workers that day. They now yearn for me. They asked me a lot of questions. Especially, the way Miles treats me definitely changed. Senpai, can we have a moment to talk? Sure, what's up? He learned to behave and respect others. He understands that there are things he can't do by himself. You're so popular lately. Everyone talks to you. Oh. I heard one of the female workers say, I wish I could marry Alistair. Really? You were so cool when you led everyone to help Miles. But don't forget about us, or else we'd feel lonely. I couldn't have changed if it weren't for you two. Thank you. I'm not gonna lose confidence in myself anymore. We'll keep supporting you. Thanks. Okay, let's go to your place. Why? Because we are gonna support you in your private life too. We've been in love with you since the day you covered for us. So, we'd like to marry you someday. What? Make sure to become closer to us. We'll spend the rest of our lives repaying you. Alistair is timid, but kind and mindful. I'm happy that his hard work has panned out. Make sure to be kind to others. <laughs>